Okay, it's Vern from VFC Archery. I wanted to just show you a bow that I have completed that I did use an axe to chase the ring uh, from one end to the other on the back. So in the video series that I'm demonstrating right now, this will be what the end result will look like. Um, I'll focus in on it. I thought I'd take a video of it and show you because I am going to be cutting this bow down and making a shorter bow out of it. So I thought I just wanted to take a video before I do that to just show you what the back of the bow looks like, the fact that I actually chased the ring and, and I've shot this now for a couple of months. I do have drying checks in it though unfortunately it's very dry here this winter and um, what I'll do is just zoom in a little bit here we can take a look just at some of the imperfections and this would be an example right here where you can see some of the axe marks so uh, again amplified doesn't really uh, affect the bow at all I'm not worried about this breaking I've shot it a couple hundred times it draws to my full draw of approximately 27 inches you can see the drying checks there those have started this uh, not the only piece of wood I've had that trouble with I have not had it in the past linseed oil is what I use to coat it typically I'll use true oil and seal the wood and I've got some bows where I've done that and I haven't had any cracking uh, drying checks but you don't have to worry about those those drying checks run up and down the bow if they were running sideways that'd be a totally different story there you can see a couple more marks right there just axe marks and um, not to worry about it though it didn't cut through the ring and um, yeah, so there you can see some more drying checks. Again, those aren't fatal unless they run off and uh, crack all the way up the bow. But these are kind of more centered, and they've happened in the last short while. So I thought I'd show you this bow, just uh, you know, as a little bit of an intermission between the bow that I'm making and the video series that I'm making around. And so it's probably about a 50-pound bow. I think I estimated it at. 160 feet per second with a 450 grain arrow roughly not a stellar performer that is why I'm going to be cutting off some of the tips and uh, maybe four inches in total maybe two inches off each tip we're going to cut it down to about 44 inches which is just where I like them I'm going to recurve it and then uh, we'll try it out I'm not going to send you back this one I've done a couple like that so Vern VFC Archery and thanks for watching